Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at what I think is the best GPUs to be buying in this bear market to actually GPU mine in the future. So we're definitely going to have a bull run at some point in the future. Now this is where most of the mining will be done in terms of the profitability and people will be looking for this hardware and we're going to be going through a bunch of GPUs which I think will hold some actual value in the future in terms of both resale value looking at what coins will be in the future and the actual efficiency of these cards so right now the crypto market as you can see at the top there we've only got three listed there that's lithium bitcoin and casper coin they're up a little bit more so we are kind of going up slightly in this bear market however nowhere near the actual bull run we're still a couple of years or a year and a half maybe away from the actual bull run and now's the time as i said in my previous video to start buying this hardware so i didn't really give any insight too much into what hardware i'd be buying so this is more mainly a video on the gpus so after the ethereum merge we know that the gpu market kind of went downwards just because there was nothing profitable and there isn't really much profitable around right now. If we click on GPU, you have to have very low electricity to actually be profitable, but there is some profits to be made. Nothing near Ethereum levels like $2, $3, $5 a day. But I believe in the future, definitely we will see that type of profitability. It may not be $5 a day, it may be around $2 a day, but that's still good profitability if you have, you know, a couple cards on a rig or something like that. You could potentially be making a lot of money in the future if you start doing the investment now into the hardware and we're going to be looking at different gpus that i would suggest so if we're looking at mainly efficiency i want to go with amd cards because those have been very efficient when compared to nvidia cards and the one that i think is the best price right now to efficiency ratio is definitely the 6600 or the 6600 xt now the reason for this is when we click on coins Let's just go for a coin that we believe will be GPU mining for a while and that has good kind of potential in the future. Firstly, we'll look at Dynax. If we click on benchmarks here, you can see the 6600 is the most efficient, which if you didn't know, that means that you'll get the most profitability for the amount of power that you use. So in the future, you want to be as efficient as possible. Now, there are cards that are above it, but these cost slightly more than what you would get for the 6600 XT or the 6600 and they mine on pretty much every algorithm very efficiently. So there is the 6600 for Dynex, very efficient as we can see there. The 6600 XT I believe is a bit down but it's still relatively good efficiency on Dynex. If we go to some of the legacy coins, let's just say Ravencoin for example, if we click on benchmarks, I know Ravencoin still holds a lot of hash rate in terms of the amount of GPUs you can see here at the top 6600 XT is the second most efficient and then the 6600 is the fourth most efficient. So as I said, we're going to be looking for efficiency and I believe that the 6600 or the XT version is going to be the best in terms of efficiency to price. If we look at prices of a 6600, these are just normal retail prices, I believe. That we're seeing right now that it's only around 200 pounds was around 220 dollars i believe on ebay you can get them for way cheaper if you find the right deals maybe 150 170 dollars and if we type in the xt version we can see that it goes for around 50 dollars more maybe something like that we have a 6600 xt here for 180 pounds so that's around 200 dollars so that's a good price i would say if you can get it lower than 200 dollars then that's obviously one of the best prices that you can get. However, when we're looking at, you know, other algorithms such as Ironfish, which will probably be reverting backwards, we do still want to focus on efficiency for the overall. And we want a card, which I believe is the 6600 or the XT version that can basically mine efficiently on every algorithm. So you have the option to actually switch algorithms if there's more profitability on a different one in the future. As you can see here, the 6600, if we find it here, is around uh, fifth place, I believe, in terms of GPUs, not including the FPGAs, which will be taken off the network when the actual reversion goes back for Ironfish. There's a lot more other coins on here that are GPU mineable, which basically have the 6600 or 6600 XT on the 
top five or top 10 list, if we look at near AI as well, you have the 6600 XT at second place and then the 6600 at fourth place. So over time, we've realized that AMD have been the most efficient cards for a lot of these algorithms. Now, the 40 series, as I said, is very efficient. I believe it sometimes beats out some of these AMD cards, but the price of the 40 series is, you know, $800 or something like that. And you could get basically four of these 6600 cards for the price of 140, 90 or 40, 80 Ti, something like that. So if you want to go for efficiency in the future, I'm saying that AMD 6600 or any really 6000 series, I know the 7000 series is coming out, but the 6000 series is relatively cheap right now. Plus in the future, it will produce the most efficiency. So if you're really focused on profitability, I would be going with this card as one of the most profitable ones to be buying in terms of just GPU mining. Now there are some other aspects that we can look at as well which would be these AI coins where you benchmark it and then you have, you know, rig rentals. So if you look here, obviously for the rig rentals on Vast AI or there's other ones like Claw AI, the more powerful cards, which will be the 40 series plus some of the AI learning cards like the 1000 series, like 2000, 4000, those will be very good for this rig rentals because not many people will have them. So those might be a good idea to buy. I wouldn't go with the 40 series. I believe the 3090 Ti is actually very powerful in terms of this rig rental or to perform a lot of tasks that you could be asking a rig to do if you're renting them out, as you can see here. Basically all of them, the 3080 Ti, 3090, even beats out some of the some of the 1000 series like the A4000, A5000, A2000, as you can see there. So. I think if you're looking into rig rentals, I would go with NVIDIA 30 series GPUs, mainly the higher end ones, 3080, 3090, just because the price of them is slightly lower than what you're gonna get for the 4090 and you have to set up the rig properly. You could have a bunch of these cards on one rig as well. I believe it only works if you have the same card on the rig. So you have to have four 3090s or four 3080s on the rig, you can't be mixing and matching them. I believe that's how it works. But subsequently, the AMD cards aren't as powerful when it comes to performing other tasks. But for mining, they are very efficient. Now, when it actually comes to AMD models, a lot of the models, as we can see here, are not actually on the 6600 or XTs. They're actually on the 580s. And these are very old cards. But you could probably pick up a lot of them for around you know, 70 to $80, but they're not going to be as efficient as the 6600 or the XT version. This is why we're going with these cards mainly just because they have the best efficiency to the price ratio. I know I've already mentioned that, but if you bought two of these, they wouldn't be as efficient as one of the 6600s. And as you can see here, AMD actually hold less of the market value. And that's probably the reason that they're selling for less just because Nvidia also has that gaming aspect of it. So if you're looking to buy a GPU, let's say for mining plus the resale value, I don't think that the AMD would hold as much resale value in the future. Nvidia definitely holds more resale. So if you're looking to go into rig rentals with the idea to resell your GPUs at the end, I would go with the 3090 or a 3090 Ti just because the price is lower than the 40 series. Plus you can resell them on. There's always people looking to buy it for upgrading their PC for gaming. Mainly with AMD, I would be focusing on not the resale value of the cards. They will be able to be resold. However, if you're looking to just GPU mine in the future and do no resale or gaming, you, you just account it as a loss, let's say, and then you can ROI on them. Plus the resale value of them. I would go with AMD cards. If you're looking to resale, I'd go with Nvidia cards, mainly 3090 or the 3090 Ti versions, maybe a 3080 as well. And that would be mainly focused if you're going down the path of rig rentals in the future. I know the first ones that come in right now, as in if you're new to it in this bear market, you'll probably get the most profitability right now and then it'll slowly taper off. But then when that tapers off, you wanna switch over to these AMD cards when the profitability actually picks up for GPU mining. Now, as I said, there won't be as much in terms of the profitability, 
like Ethereum levels unless Casper coin really takes off or other coins really take off that have ASIC resistance, such as Ironfish or even if Ravencoin, Flux and all those make a kind of comeback. The proof of useful work that Flux is integrating plus Dynex is integrating that as well. That would probably be mainly done through other higher end GPUs, which have more power to them, which would be NVIDIA 40 series cards. However, the price just doesn't seem right to buy them right now. And if you look here for algorithms for GPUs, Dynex Solve right now, as we said, the 6600, I believe is second place for efficiency is 22% of the GPU slash algorithms. Carpow, I think it was fifth place on that. That holds 11%. So you've already covered 30% of the most popular algorithms. I know there's other ones like all of these will be covered as well. I know Radiant Algorithm plus the Ergo Algorithm is very efficient. And when we look at the Alethium Algorithm, which I believe Alethium will be starting to make a rise in terms of the algorithms here. It's already Blake 3 Alethium. You're holding 2% of the algorithms. So it's the XT version is in fifth place. We're discounting maybe the K10 because I don't know if that's actual figures. So let's just say it's fourth place. And then below it, you have the 6600. So I personally believe if you have more money, I would go for the XT version because it will hold a little more value. Plus, it'll probably be more efficient overall for a lot of coins. Maybe if new coins come out as well, you can be more efficient on those algorithms. So I'd be buying that. If you can't spend the money on the XT version, just spend it on the 6600. As I said, overall, if you want to go into the rig rentals slash proof of useful work, you'd probably want to go with a more powerful card. I wouldn't fork out the money for the 40 series just yet. I'd wait for the prices to come down a little bit if they ever do. I would just fork out the money for the 3090 Ti or the 3090 just because they're very powerful as well. So that's my take on what the best GPUs I would be buying for mining. It's just a little follow on video from my last video talking about buying hardware for the future. If you're thinking about resale value 3090 Ti, probably the most powerful card that you can get in terms of power to price of buying it ratio. And I would go with that if you're looking for resale, but if you're strictly just going to be GPU mining in the future, and that's your goal, I would go with the 6600 or 6600 XT. So that's it for the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you'll be buying one of these cards, let me know if there's any other cards that you really think should be mentioned. I know that there's maybe the A4000, which is a decent price to profitability and plus you can sell it on later. There's a good price out there. It's around $200 to $300. You can get one of them. But if there's any more, you can add them in the comments below and I'll reply to those comments. Like the video and subscribe for more content like this.